And so what we're going to do, um, we're going to uh, kickstart this. Um, I'm going to make sure your audio is okay. Mark, you're good? You're good? Yeah. Can you hear me properly? We can hear you loud and clear. Loud Fantastic. and clear. So as you know, um, I have, uh, I have um, an elevator behind me, right? As you can tell, um, I have the... Um, I have an elevator background behind me and you're going to have one minute to pitch your idea. The, the time it takes for me to hit the top is one minute. Okay. So uh, we believe very, uh, we, we believe in the idea that um, you must be able to get your idea off in one minute. Okay. So uh, we're hoping that you can uh, stay in time. Okay. Um, what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to make sure that I'm, uh, just adjusting everything. So we get a good recording of it. Any questions from you, Amara? You're going first. Okay. And I appreciate you going first, but any questions from you? No, I think I'm good. All right. So let us kick off. And, um, just by popular demand, people were getting bored of my blue turban colors. So I, I had to change it up today. Okay. So uh, this week is Singapore's National Day. So I'm wearing the Singapore red today just to kind of change things up. Morak, for everyone that doesn't know you, let's get started. Morak, where, where are you joining us from? Just so everyone knows where you're calling from. All right, so I'm joining in from Canada. Okay. Uh, from Canada. I'm in London, Ontario. From London, Ontario. Excellent. So yeah. what we're going to do is I'm going to hit the top. Morak, once I hit the top, I'm going to introduce myself. Okay. And uh, you're going to have one minute to get your point across. So we're finishing at the top right now. You can see all that coming together and I will begin. I'll introduce myself. I will be an investor. Okay. Are you ready to go? Yep. All right. Hi, Morak. My name is Ash Singh. How are you doing? Very well. Thank you. Hello, Ash. I have an interesting proposition for you. Do you know that PwC estimates 2018 diaspora remittances to Nigeria at $23 billion, equivalent wow. to 83% of the federal government of Nigeria's annual budget? It's mm. a massive and fast-growing market. The mm. traditional remittance model involves an international wire transfer to be received in Nigeria, most often times in local currency, with the sender and receiver being at the mercy of a wire transfer system that is expensive, slow, and cumbersome. This traditional model also fails to connect the huge and growing army of Nigerians actively seeking to buy foreign currency for urgent international payments or mm. simply to hedge against the economic headwinds of currency devaluation. Got it. Our solution seeks to create a platform that connects these people, that is, diasporans willing to exchange their dollars for Naira and Nigerians living back home needing to exchange their own Naira for dollars in a safe and efficient manner. Essentially, our platform will expand and formalize an already existing informal system of exchange between networked individuals and WhatsApp chat groups. Got it. Um, what are you looking for? What do you need from me? So, Laura? Yeah, so currently we are seeking uh, technical partnerships to help us navigate the difficult legal and regulatory landscapes here in Canada and Nigeria, mm -hmm. and also expertise in that domain to help open up more country peers before the year runs out. Got it. And we're willing to exchange that for some equity position. All right. Thank you, Morak. All right. Thank you for going first. Morak joining us from London, Ontario, Canada. Morak, my question for you, right? Before, and we and, and feel free to give feedback in the chat. There's always feedback uh, that, that, that that's great. Uh, I want to know, you know, I'm going to give you some feedback on the session itself. Obviously, there was a, a, a uh, the problem statement was very strong. Okay, it was very obvious about the remittance, right? And you see this in a lot of um, a lot of uh, a lot of like the remittance space is such a huge space for for a lot of countries, right? Um, and and uh, as 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 uh, one of our uh, one of our panelists have said, you know, if 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 I was a greedy investor, it sounds like a huge undeveloped market, right? So we see that. The key thing that I felt was missing was is the 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 secret sauce, right? The secret sauce. You kind of brought it in at the end. You brought up the WhatsApp and you talked about the Naira and how you're connecting the dots. I really wanted to know how, because you know, remittance and, and there's a lot of people attacking this, Morak. And I wanted to know how you were combining all these components, leveraging the technology of today, okay, the preferences of 
the uh, Nigerians inside and outside of Nigeria to kind of connect the dots. Like that was something that I wanted to hear, right? So can you share a little bit more about that so we understand that, please? So I think the secret sauce really is uh, the fact that what we are putting together is a real peer-to-peer -peer solution, Okay. right? So uh, our solution will connect people directly and have them negotiate their exchange rates by themselves and essentially cut out, you know, the traditional uh, big bank or, you know, middleman player. Okay. So and, that, yeah. And so that begs the question, the level of security, right? I mean, if people mm -hmm. are communicating directly, uh, one of the reasons why you have middle people, middlemen as part of the process is to make sure that there's an element of security, right? Yeah. So again, talk to me a little bit about how that's going to work. And part of it, Morak, is how is it going to benefit the customer? Okay. So when mm -hmm. I look at it, you did bring it up, right? But I wanted to kind of know a little bit more granularity, right? So when I think about remittance today, okay, um, you know, I don't have family in Nigeria, but, you know, I've, I, we've got exposure to startups in Nigeria and in the Philippines, mm -hmm. yeah, where there is a big remittance business, okay? Lots of remittance happening. The question is, is, um, you know, when you think about it, you have like West. How um, uh, how does it differ? How are you faster, okay? And how are you uh, more more uh, cheaper, right? How much how much cheaper is it, right? And, and that that didn't fully come out, so I wanted to get some feedback on you on that. Okay, so, so you froze up for me a bit, but I think I got the meat of your question. Um, so so compare. How is it safer? How is it safer? How is it yeah. faster? And how is it cheaper? And by how much? Okay. So, so relative to Western Union or your traditional channels, uh, you will require for those channels about uh, best case scenario, 48 hours, you mm -hmm. know, to do to, to complete a transfer. With yep. our solution, you could get this done in, in, in less than 30 minutes. Really, okay. it depends on just how fast uh, each individual is able to make a transfer. So yes. theoretically, it could be done in five minutes, right? Yeah. Uh, that's how fast we propose that uh, this can be done. Uh, in terms of safety, yeah, uh, the big banks, the, the, the big fintech players that are already in the space have built their credibility. Uh, so we need to be able to match that credibility as well. I think that will come with time. That will also come with us being strictly uh, in compliance, uh, working under you know, existing regulations. So for instance, in Canada, we will be and are already chasing a FinTrack regulation, uh, FinTrack registration, uh, mm -hmm. to, 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 to demonstrate, that, demonstrate that level of credibility, right? Mm -hmm. And whichever other country peer will be taking on, would obviously be coming under, you know, the extant regulations of that jurisdiction as well. So I, I get that. So you, you're saying, okay, you can get a remittance done in 30 minutes versus 48 hours, typically. Yes. That could be a big issue for people that are rushing for an urgent requirement. Okay. I get that. Yes. You're also, you've talked a little bit about credibility. The question I have, which remains is, is, is how much cheaper is it, right? How much cheaper is it typically? So tell me a little bit about that. And then the next question for me, which didn't come out in your session is, is how you're going to make money. Because when I think about the remittance world, right, as an investor, I, I need to, like, I think, you know, there's a feedback that it seems like a huge underdeveloped market, but mm -hmm. as an investor, I want to know, um, or a partner, because you want me to be a technical support person, right? Um, I want to know how you're going to make money, because it seems to me that everyone is, as, as a top level investor, it seems like it's a race to the bottom, right, Mark? Mm. So. Tell me a little bit about the financials in terms of the transaction costs and how much, you know, if I'm sending a thousand dollars to Nigeria, how much is it typically right now and how much you're going to be able to do it for? And the other thing is, is how do you intend on making money if it's so cheap? Okay. Right. It's because there's a volume game, but it's kind of like, yeah. you know, it's, it's like, it's like YouTube, right? Everyone wants to be a YouTuber, but you got to get like millions and millions of views before you can make any money right mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. and you have to have a couple of other things in your favor too ma making that happen so i want to know how you're making money as well Morak. all right so we're early stage we are not making money yet um the whole cash with, flow with your model with your model yes, suppose yes, indeed 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 uh so so if you were to send 
money using traditional channels today, you will be getting charged anything between two percent to four percent, okay. right? Of the of the cost of the transaction, usually to a maximum of say a hundred dollars. So whatever it is that you, whatever amount you are transferring, you won't get charged beyond a maximum reasonable, you know, amount depending on the channel you're using. But yeah. generally, it's between two and four percent. Uh, we are intending to do this at one percent or less. Okay. Uh, that slims down our our profit take, obviously. But the whole intent around this is to make it cheaper, faster, you yeah. know, and more uh, more reliable for 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 the users. Yeah. Uh, like you already mentioned, indeed, it is a volumes game, and mm. would not be th this wouldn't be. Uh, what the while unless you're able to capture a good proportion of the market. Now, I sure. did give an instance, you know, so, 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 some inkling to what that market is. 23 billion remittances to Nigeria. And those are remittances that are that go through traditional channels. So it's potentially even way bigger than this, right? 23 so, billion, right? 23, 23 billion. billion, yes. Wow. And, and, and uh, so the, the proportion of that that comes from Canada because I did check this as well, is 500 million US dollars, right? Oh. So, so uh, if we are able to capture, say, 10% okay. of that market, yeah. right? That's 50 million US. Now, now this, is, this, is a, this is a per annum estimate, right? So that's yeah. 50 million US dollars, Yeah. right? And uh, taking off 1% of that is 500,000. Okay. US this yeah. per annum. So that's your, now, that's your is, model. Yeah. So, so so this is this is starting, right? This is what we envisage, say, in the next one to two years. Got it. Understood. Right? And there's significant room for growth. Remember, this is just a single country peer, Nigeria, Canada. There are multiple possibilities of country peers, you know, that we can get into. Of course. And, and do you, and, and without going into some of the things, so you make money, how is it? You take a 1% fee then? Because you said it's like two to 4% up to a hundred yes. bucks. What's your yes. cut? What's your cut on it? So 1%, a 1% fee. So you're going to do it at 1%. Okay. Yes. All so, less. Maura, let me ask you a question. You know, part of when you when you do a, a pitch like this, it's always about kind of understanding incumbents and stuff like that. And so, you know, we, you know, I've been in this space for a very long time. When I started the startup journey, there was a company called PayPal, okay, which was the the new the new thing. It's been replaced by Stripe, and now they're well, not replaced. Though. There's new entrances like Stripe and 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 TransferWise. One of our uh, one of the students that that we had at INSEAD. Um, and, and so, so my question to you is are, uh, how different are you from like Venmo, right? You know, Venmo in the U S mm -hmm. how different are you from them in terms of their model versus what you're doing? Cause obviously it's a very successful platform and very relevant right now. And a lot of people are using it for just regular internal transfers. How, how are you different from them? So, so we, we actually are a marketplace. So think Kijiji. Okay. Okay. Right. Sure. Where, got it. Yeah. So we're actually a marketplace where people will come and advertise, right, yeah. that they have X amount of Canadian dollars to sell, yeah. looking to find someone in Nigeria. They're going exactly. to be a, a personal digital exchange. Exactly. A marketplace, really. Marketplace. Okay. So, so, what you're so saying, where, where, where that differs from... From from a uh, Western Union or the others is that they are not a marketplace. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, claim so claim to claim, but really, ultimately, they are not a marketplace. Yeah, and so part of part of when you're doing a pitch, it's kind of like explaining to the investor the future, where you see the future. Okay, and again, I'm I'm hearing the pitch for the first time. So for me, I'm thinking about it like, you know, you have these currency traders, okay? All the currency traders actually have to go through a platform for currency trade. What you're saying is that you're allowing the currency trader to just go direct, right? You're removing the intermediary and you're attacking um, the, the, the remittance market starting in Nigeria and Canada. Is that correct? Yes. Right. Yes. So whilst you have retail investors that have gone to products like Robinhood to invest in stocks and go direct with no fees and all the other stuff, what you're saying is that the way of the future is going to be a disintermediated, okay, 
currency trading platform that's going to help people remit cheaper, faster, and more securely. Is that correct? Indeed. Indeed. I, I, and I'm pretty confident that that is actually the way things are going. Okay. Uh, I did talk about the WhatsApp channels uh, that, that, that we currently, uh, that we use, that a whole host of Nigerians I know here use, right? Got it. And I say confidently that most people would rather that deal directly with somebody else. Yeah. Sure. Than have to go through a banking platform or, you know. There's a lack of trust with institutions. And what's happening now is that there's going to give an opportunity for the proliferation of peer to peer platforms, basically. Mm -hmm. Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, indeed. Have I summarized what you're doing? Did I make sense the last couple of seconds about where you're going, right? Yes, you did. You did. I, you I, did. Want, I want you to think about that. I want you to paint that picture, but then also make sure that you bring in the idea of how you're doing it better, faster, cheaper, because you also have to make sure that you have the, and I'm glad you didn't bring in blockchain and all the other stuff that we hear too much about, but you have to make sure that you can deliver on the security promise too, right? If you're doing peer to peer, correct? You know, because on, on platforms like Craigslist and Kijiji, um, there, you know, people sell stuff and people do rip each other off too, right? So there's the security element that you need to have in place. So be careful which yeah. examples you use, right? You know what I mean? Uh, indeed, 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 indeed. We need to be careful. Every word that you use when you speak to an investor tells mm. a story, right? And you have to be very, very careful. So you're looking, I'm going to have to pitch your idea back, Morag, okay? Right? So I'm creating this one. a next generation <laughs> Nigerian uh, remittance platform, okay? Um, uh, so, uh, but my question to you is you just needed a technical co-founder. You needed help. Do you need to raise money as well, Morag? Is that, you know? So also, eventually we will need. Immediately right now, not really. Okay. So you're looking for a technical co-founder, somebody that can help build the APIs and plug in everything and get the connection points going to make sure that your platform can plug into WhatsApp and make sure that everything is moving back and forth. Is that correct? Yeah, something along that line. No, no, okay. Not specifically correct, but I mean, yeah. So so, so more, more, more of somebody with uh, good industry knowledge that, that, that that's got credibility that will... If we went to the bank based upon that person's profile, you know, the bank will listen to us, you know, in terms of opening accounts and trying to plug in APIs and do all those kind of things. Because, I mean, ultimately, we, we walk into a bank, they know, I mean, we're competing with an existing business model that they make money off from already. Yes. You know, so navigating all those, you know, Understood. difficult conversations, those Understood. technical terrains, yes. Got it. All right. Morak, I need to pitch your idea. Would you like me to pitch your idea back to you? Would you like me Absolutely. to? Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm going to do it now. You get to be the investor. Okay. So you're going to wait till the top when you see the background kind of change. You introduce yourself and I'm going to have 60 seconds to try to pitch the idea to you. What are we calling? The, what's the company name? Let's just make sure we get the company. CashX, right? CashX. Yes. CashX. Okay. So I'm going to pitch the idea and, and um, we're going to go from there. Is that all right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Here goes. We're hitting the top, my friend. Time to introduce yourself. Let's rock and roll. Go ahead. All right. My name is Morak. Uh, how are you doing today? I'm very well, Morak. Thank you for making the time. My name is Ash Singh and I'm part of the CashX team. As you know, remittance is big business right? Uh, around the world, it's a multi, multi-billion dollar business. In Nigeria alone, it's a $23 billion industry. And what we've seen now is that there is a need in the marketplace for a direct peer-to-peer -peer solution for people to remit. You know, if you think about Canada, we have 500 million US dollars going every year, and we wanted to create a platform that can leverage the technology of today, the stuff that people are using, whether it's WhatsApp or any other connection points to create a platform that allows everyday people to come on our marketplace and offer money, right? And enable them to get it to the customer much faster. Instead of spending two days, we can get it done in 30 minutes. And instead of spending two, four percent, we're only charging one percent. We think that this is going to radically change the industry, just like Robinhood did to investing we think that the CashX platform is going to make some big difference. I'd love to talk to you to bring you on board as a technical partner to help us build what we're trying to do.
to revolutionize the remittance industry in Nigeria? Would you like to have a coffee? <laughs> well done. <laughs> Sounds really good. No, I mean, I like, I like the way you, you brought up the, the most important elements, uh -huh. you know, and I mean, Crystal Clear came out strong. Yes, I would okay. like to have coffee. <laughs> All right, good, good, good. Well, this is one time when I didn't embarrass myself. So <laughs> what I wanted to do was capture that, right? The marketplace, the connection, and, you know, and, and hopefully, you know, Mark, sometimes we don't have a lot of time in the minute, but maybe there was something there where you're like, I want to find out more. Who is this dude? Okay, right? Uh, I want to find out more about what's happening and the touching of that marketplace, okay? The connection of Robinhood and what the future is going to look like, okay? And then really getting deep on, on, on how this is going to be the future for all the remittance things. Remember, an investor is going to give you money to start off and win in Canada to, to, to Nigeria, but they want you to win in Nigeria, but they also want you to win in all the other big remittance countries too right? The rest of Africa, it's not just that. So keep that in your mind, right? If you really want to go big, you know, we talk about big picture, okay? It needs to, you need to weave that in as well. And that's what I tried to do, right? Disrupting that remittance play, right? But uh, thank you, Morak. It's always a pleasure. Hope you're doing well. And uh, uh, in, the, in the next six months, I'm going to come meet you in London, Ontario, okay? So I'm going to, you know, I'll, I'll probably be I'll be teaching. Uh, I'll be teaching at, at at the Ivy Business School, so I will definitely uh, catch up, and we're going to move to the next phase of this. Okay, hopefully the technical co-founder stuff is done, and then we yeah. can start pitching investors as well. But thank you very much for joining. Always a pleasure, and Sounds stay safe. Good. All right, thank you, thank you.